morning. Good morning. Good morning. Alejandra, good morning. Oh, good you feel sleepy. Good morning. Good morning. Look at my eyes. No. Revolting. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, oh, my God. Look at my eyes. No, I need to put a <laughs> Oh my god, give me a second. <laughs> I know. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, everybody, good morning and welcome to one more class. All right, very good. I'm going to begin right now. Today, we're going to begin with unit number one. Um, you had a homework yesterday, no, right? No, no. I don't give you any homework. All right, very good. Okay, so uh, right now, sorry guys, if I confuse uh, these, these days, because right now I have uh, five groups. <laughs> so I, I, I confuse some things. Okay, well, uh, right now, everybody, I'm going to share a little exercise. All right, yesterday we were talking about gadgets. And let's see, uh, can you see... Can you see the screen? Yes. Yes. All right, very good. Now, uh, let's see. Okay, Oscar, read the definition and your classmates will guess the word, okay? okay. It is a small computer. Okay, guys, what is the answer? It is a tablet. Excellent. It is is a tablet. Very good. Letter D. Rosamanda, read the next definition, please. I use this as do to make a photograph, play games, listen to music, surf the internet, or and to tell my mom where I, where I am. Okay, uh, Rosamanda, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna correct some pronunciation mistakes. Okay, here. Very. Here you can say, I use it. Okay. We're gonna, we're gonna join it, all right? I use it, I use it, all right? And this is photos. Uh, what? Photos, and this, and this one is like if a person is saying, oh, uh, and to tell my mom, uh -huh, it's not like, listen to me, Amanda, listen to me. Yes, I'm gonna tell you something. It's because uh, even, even if we read, we need to have some, you know, it's like it's like if you have food and and when you taste the food, it is very, I mean, it doesn't have any taste. When you read, you have to put taste to what you read. It's like if you put salt, it's like, okay, I used to take photos, play games, listen to music, search the internet. Oh, and to tell my, yeah, it's like, ah, you're putting salt to your reading is more interesting and you need to use intonation. Is it clear? Yes, I clear. Okay, it's read clear. it again. Read it again, please. I use it to take photographs, play games, listen to music, surf the internet, oh, and to tell me mom where, where I am. Excellent. Very good. Much better. Much better. Okay. Very good. So, which is the answer? 
smartphone. It is a smartphone. All right, very good. Uh, Roxana Ramirez, help me with the next one, please. Remember, Roxana Ramirez, when you read, you have to put a little salt, <laughs> a little okay. taste. Okay, Roxana, go ahead. I keep my photos on this and take it to my friend's house. So we can look at them on her computer. Okay, so which is the answer? Sorry, uh, Margaret. Is, is it a USB port or is it a memory stick? Because the USB port, guys, is the one where you put them the memory uh, stick. Oh, it's letter D. Letter D, yes, very good. Yeah, because the USB port is where you put uh, the, the memory stick. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, Marjorie, help me with this one, please. Okay, when I go on holiday, I don't need to carry heavy books because I've got enough to read on this. All right, very good. Okay, I've got, all right, I've got enough. Okay, try to say this expression together, Marjorie. I've got enough. Uh, enough, I think, is suficient. No, 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 so, no, no, no. I, but I, 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 I don't want you. I don't want you to tell me the meaning in Spanish. I want you to pronounce it. All right. You say, "I've got enough." I've got enough. Uh huh. Better, better, much better. <laughs> I've got um, Marjorie and everybody. This is something in British English. For example, in American English, you say, I have a computer, for example. But in British English, you say, I've got a computer. I have got. In British English, they say, I have got. Or they make it a contraction and they say, I've got. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is British English. Okay, so which is the answer? Thank you, Marjorie. So which is the answer, guys? An e-reader. An e-reader, all right, very good. Yes, uh, I don't remember what's the name of this company. Have you ever have you ever heard about Kindles? No. Have yes. you ever heard ever heard about Kindles? Okay, this this is a Kindle. These are e-readers. Amazon. Uh huh. Amazon got them. Yes, this mm -hmm. is an this is a Kindle e-reader. So you can read books. This is a like, okay, I don't have a physical book, but I have a, a an e-reader. I never use it and it doesn't work anymore. <laughs> All right, very good. So let me see. The next one is, Carlitos, help me with this one, please. We use this, we use this to connect other gadgets to a computer. All right, I'm gonna help you with this. The pronunciation is this. We use this to connect all our gadgets to a computer. Excellent, excellent. Very good. Much better. Yeah, because if you say this, you're saying the other one, the long, the long one, huh? The plural one. All right. So which is the which is the correct answer, guys? MP3 player. Le D. Uh -huh. Tell me the complete sentence, not only the letter. It is a letter D. Use use port letter D. It is letter D. Yes, it is letter D. Very good. A USB port. Okay. Uh, Roxana Lopez, help me with this one, please. The one in my phone lasts for about five hours before I need to charge it again. All right. Very good. All right. Uh, you read this one. Charge it. Charge it. All right, charge it. Charge it, yes. And this one is lasts because you have a letter Last. S. Lasts. Last. Lasts. Mm -hmm. Last. Okay. okay. So which is the answer, guys? Which is the answer? It is a battery. Very good. It is a battery. All right. Give me a moment, please. It is a battery. Great. It is a battery. A sat nav. I don't know what this is. Do you know what this is, guys? I don't know. I don't know. No. Sad, no. It looks it looks like as if says Satan. <laughs> but let me see. Sat nav. I have never seen that word before. Sat nav. What is a sat nav? 
it's a uh, ah, abbreviation for satellite navigation, a system of computers and satellites used in cars, other places to tell you where something is. Oh, it's like a GPS, a mini, mini, mini screen on your car. Okay, we don't have those ones here. Okay, so uh, the one in my computer lasts battery. Very good. Ekaterin, help me with the next one, please. I can type what is the pronunciation feature? Uh -huh, this is a number. Do you do you remember? I, 80. I, I can type 80 words a minute using this. All right. So which is the answer? It is a keyboard. It is a keyboard. It is a keyboard. Yeah, that is the correct pronunciation. Okay. A keyboard. Excellent. Okay, Alejandro Fuentes, help me with this one, please. I use this control my car, perdón. I use this to control my car when I'm playing driving games. With this one, please. I use this I use this to control my car when I'm playing driving games. All right, thank you, Alejandra. So which is the, which is the answer? Letter D. It is letter D. It, it is letter D. It is a joystick. Very good. A joystick. Okay. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Uh, let me see. Sara. Sara Abigail, help me with this one, please. Okay. You can watch films using this. 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 Uh -huh. there you go. It's like, it's more, it's, Sara, it's more like if you do this, like this, this, e, uh, this, it's like this. All right. Okay. So which is the answer, guys? It is a DVD player. Literally. It is a DVD player. Very good. All right. Um, let me see the next person. Uh, 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 uh. Jennifer, Jennifer Hernandez. Help me with this one, please. Morning. Uh, in Morning. But I got uh, 1,000 songs on in. All right, very good. Uh, how do you put it? How, um, what's the answer for this one? It is a M MP3 player. An MP3 player. Very good. Excellent. Well, right now you don't need MP3 players because you have your cell phone. <laughs> yes, if you want to listen to a song, you only go to YouTube and that's it. Yes or no? Yeah, or, Alexa. or Alexa teacher. I don't have an Alexa. Do you have an Alexa? Yes. No, I don't yeah. have an Alexa. Ah, so you, mm. see, you only command Alexa what to search for. Mm. I you could you could tell Alexa, Alexa, uh, play 80 songs or play 90 songs in English or in Spanish. Oh, yeah, Alexa, and, play or play rock music. Alexa, I want country music. Oh, that's nice. Super that's nice. nice. <laughs> I would like an Alexa in my life. Alexa, but, can you make me a breakfast? Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> uh, that's why uh, that I was going to say that. Yeah, I would like an Alexa for that. Alexa, can you download the reports from my classes? Can you upload the videos, please? So I don't go to bed at 2 a.m. in the morning. Uh, it's, you it's, could you could you could tell Alexa Alexa uh, wake me up at five o five in the morning. I know that's nice. <laughs> I would like to have one. I'd like to have one. That's great. That's great. Okay. Well, Claudia Ruth. By the way, read this one, please. <laughs> okay. It's a long device that you can attach to your mobile phone and use for taking a selfie. It would be a use it, use it. It, it was missing. It was missing here. Okay, yeah. so which which is the answer? Literally, it is a selfie stick. It is a selfie stick. Excellent. Very good. Excellent. And the last one is for yeah. Wilbert. Okay, Wilbert, the last one is for you. It's a system to tell you where something is where you are or who to get to a place or how to 
or okay. how to get to a place. All right. So which is the answer? Oh yeah, I told you, right? A sat nav, satellite navigation. That's the that's the contraction. Satellite navigation. That's why it's sat nav. Okay. Excellent. Very good. Well, um, right now before before we begin with the with the content that we have on the platform, because I will show you. Uh, what we're gonna study today is well, unit number one, preferences. Yeah, we have been talking a little bit about gadgets. All right, I will show you um a video about gadgets, but first, this is a video about gadgets and adjectives for describing objects. Or well, actually, we're gonna watch the video first because later I have some uh, random cards that we're gonna use for speaking. Okay, give me a second. Uh, I will share the, the audio. All right. Oh, you know, you know already, Um, you know, teacher Eunice already. Okay, so let's see. We're going to do it right now. Can you listen to that video? Can you? Can you listen to that? Hi, guys. Yes. yes. Hi, she's yes, scared. Teacher, I can listen. <laughs> she scared me. All right, very good. <laughs> okay, nice. Let's go. In this class, Let's learn about gadgets. Hmm, what are gadgets? Well, gadgets are small devices that can be mechanical or electronics. <coughs> now, let's see some examples of gadgets so you can have a better idea. Here on the screen, you see some pictures of gadgets. For example, a computer, a cell phone, a printer, a USB. Take a picture of these vocabulary words of gadgets. Now, what adjectives can you use to describe gadgets? Well, first, Remember, these are devices. They are objects that you can touch. So, listen and repeat. These are adjectives to describe gadgets. Expensive. Compact. Powerful. User-friendly. Light. Quick. Fragile. Any new words? Watch the video again if you need to. Take note of those new words and look for the meaning of these vocabulary words. Next time, you can use these adjectives to describe gadgets. Remember, gadgets are small mechanical or electronic devices. Okay, very good, everybody. Uh, were you taking notes? I, I saw some people taking notes, but I, I will repeat it, all right? And I will ask you some questions. Pay attention to the video because I will ask you some questions. Hi, guys. In this class, let's learn about gadgets. Hmm, what are gadgets? Well, gadgets are small devices that can be mechanical or electronics. Now, let's see some examples of gadgets so you can have a better idea. Here on the screen, you see some pictures of gadgets. For example, a computer, a cell phone, a printer, a USB. Take a picture of these vocabulary words of gadgets. Now, what adjectives can you use to describe gadgets? Well, first, remember, these are devices. They are objects that you can touch. So, listen and repeat. These are adjectives to describe gadgets. Expensive. Compact. Powerful. User-friendly. Light. Quick. Fragile. Any new words? Watch the video again if 
Remember, gadgets are small mechanical or electronic devices. Okay, before you forget, I'm gonna ask you, what are gadgets? Small devices. Oh, electronic. Uh -huh. Can be mechanic or electronic. Uh -huh. They and are mechanical, mechanical devices. or electronic devices. Very good. Projects that you can touch. Exactly. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Now, she, she was talking about adjectives for describing a gadget. Adjectives are very important. And actually, that is something related to what we're going to study today. So, uh, can you tell me some adjectives for describing gadgets? She mentioned some adjectives. But if you know more, you can share them. All right? There is no problem. Tell me, what are some gadgets for this? Uh, what are some adjectives for describing gadgets? Expensive. Expensive. Uh -huh. She means expensive. What else? Friendly. They're friendly, compact. What else? Powerful. Powerful. Right. Yes. Fragile. 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 Yes. Light. Quick. Light, light. Wait, wait, wait. You said quick, quick. Teacher, yes. teacher, light. Eh, el spelling L I T E. No, this one, no, no, no. Así, así salió en yes. el video. The, 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 ah, this one, light. Yes. Sí. Ah, yes. Sorry. Yes. The, the, the first one too. Oh. This, pay attention to this one. This one or this one? Actually, actually, I'm going to tell you. It's because it's like, um, I have my doubts with this because remember that uh, with with time, uh-huh, uh, well, I'm going to, I'm going to tell you. Es que mire, es, es por eso que, um, es por eso que uh, a veces, a veces, um, el inglés se deforma con el tiempo o con, la, o con el uso. All right. Vaya, este es informal. Esta palabra es informal. This is an informal word. It is like, for example, some people say night, night, night. Do you spell night like that? How do you spell night? Night, night is like this. Uh -huh. Night is N-I-G-H-T. But remember, um, I don't know if you get my idea. I mean, For sure. people, people, um, people transform the language. Yeah, and now people have gotten this like light, L-I-T-E, but this is an informal word. The formal word is this one. This is the formal word, light. Yeah, but people, people uh, every day change, right, things. This is like more attractive, more commercial. I don't know if you understand. For example, Facebook. Yeah. Facebook light because it would be like not attractive to type this. So they invented this. You got it. Uh-huh. Yeah. And 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 that's why a lot of people uh, that's why um prefer using this. But both are correct. One is informal and the other one is formal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What else? What else can you think about? Adjectives for describing gadgets. Cheap. Cheap, all right. Cheap. Uh -huh, yes. What else? So we have expensive, user-friendly, compact, powerful, fragile, light, the, the light easy of the... Uh, so easy to me. use. Easy to use? Yes, you can say this one. Easy to use. Mm -hmm. Modern. Modern, yes, that's another one. Yes, uh -huh. the, think about others, not necessarily the ones from the video, because she only fast. said she only said like five. Uh huh. But I would like to. I would like to fast. Okay. Yes, this is the one. Mm -hmm. Another one for describing gadgets. Popular. Mm, pop. Yeah, we can have popular. Yeah, yeah. People use it a lot. Yep. For example, cell phones are popular, right? Who doesn't have a sorry? Software, software, okay. We'll see. Excuse me. 
suffer. No sé. No me recuerdo esa palabra. English, no Spanish. Ajá, uh -huh. sorry. I didn't understand. I Tell don't me remember English. this, this word, teacher. But softer. what? Softer, this one. Ajá, uh -huh. no. But this one is in comparative. ER, softer. The, uh, the adjective is soft. Soft, uh, okay. But if you say softer, that is a comparative. Softer than. Yeah? Do you remember? Yes, teacher. Ah, okay. So we're going to say soft. And we yes, have... Sir. Yes? Yes. yes sir. And, and user-friendly. We have to say user-friendly or friendly. Well, actually, you can say uh, this is this is user friendly. Yes, you have to say user friendly. That means that it is easy to use. It is the same as if you say easy to use. Okay. Yep. That means it is okay. easy to to handle, to touch, to understand. Uh huh. Okay. Yes. S somebody else was saying something. I don't know if it was Carlos or Wilbert. Sorry. Sorry. Did you say something, Wilbert or Carlos? No? no? No. Ah, okay. I thought that you had said something. Eric, are you here, Eric? No. no, no ah, here. yes. When Eric is not here, mm. I really and quickly notice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, very good. Yes, because he's asking questions. Okay. Well, um, right now, I'm going to give you some, some statements so you can talk about that. I would like you to speak. Okay, I'm gonna show you some random cards. Can you see the, the random cards? Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so what you're gonna do is, you're gonna talk about that. The biggest gadget is the biggest. This is like a, a superlative. You can say, in my opinion, hoy vamos a tener repaso de superlatives and comparatives, but you will say, in my opinion, because remember that when we use comparatives and superlatives, this is a, this is a matter of opinion. For example, you can have two women. You can have Scarlett Johansson and Jennifer Lopez. But for some people, Scarlett Johansson is more beautiful. And for, no, for other people, Jennifer Lopez is more beautiful. It is a matter of opinion when we talk about comparatives and superlatives. Okay? So in my opinion, the biggest gadget is, and you will say what the biggest gadget is according to your opinion. Okay? Everybody in the group is going to say his or her opinion. You got it? Got it? Okay. You got it. Okay, very good. It doesn't matter if you make mistakes. What we are doing right now is, is practicing. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna send right now the, the link so we can practice. The link is in the chat. And uh, I have uh Wilbert. Can you help me share the screen, Wilbert? Yes. Sure. Uh, Wilbert, yes. Wilbert, Catherine, who else? Me teacher. Uh, Karen Kevin. Cadena, Kevin, Karen Cadenas, are you here? Yes, teacher. Ah, oh, yes, yeah, she's here. Uh, let me see. Okay, there we go. Hey, teacher. Ah, Nancy. Yes, Nancy. All right. So let me see. I'm going to make some groups. I will make uh, six groups. I would like a small groups. So Karen Cadenas. No, Wilbert is going to go to another group. Okay. Um, let me see. I'm checking Jose Raul, Carlos Roque. Okay, I'm gonna move Nancy to group number six. All right, group number six. Um, Catherine is in group number four. Eh, eh, Angel Giovanni, you're gonna go to room number room number five. Angel Giovanni, okay. Very good. Eh, mm, okay. Well, I think I have the groups complete. So in group number one, Karen Cadenas is going to share the screen. In room number Kevin is going to share the screen. In room number three, is going to share the screen. In room number four, Catherine is going to share the screen. In number five, Angel is going to share the screen. In number six, Nancy is going to share the screen. Okay, I'm going to give you some minutes so you can talk about this. Uh, let's go.
Kevin, what happened? Kevin, are you there? Ah, he's no, 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 he's not here because he lost connection. Eh, Daniel, are you from the computer or, or your cell phone, Daniel? No, I can't, sorry, teacher, because I am in my tablet. Ah, I think, yes. I think it's, it's Oscar. Oscar. Sorry. No, no problem, Daniel. Eh, Oscar, you can't. Roxana Lopez, no, are you here? I cannot. No, I think Kevin yes, but but can you share or no? You are from the cell phone too. Uh, yes, uh, my microphone is broken in my computer. Ah, uh, okay. Well, I, I'm. Uh, meanwhile, Kevin comes because Kevin had a problem. I think I'm gonna help you. Okay. Okay. So go ahead. You can you can talk about this. Okay, Oscar, give me your opinion about the biggest gadget. Um. In my opinion, the biggest gadget, mm, I don't know. Uh huh. Which is the biggest gadget in your opinion? Is is more. Well, actually, um, here you will tell me an object. The biggest gadget is the chair, uh, the television, or I don't know, something else. You have to have one thing. Let's see, Daniel, what about for you? What's the biggest uh, gadget? Well, in my opinion, the biggest gadget is the cell phone. It is, uh -huh. is, the, is something that all people have in the world. Uh huh, yes. Ah, nice. Very good, Daniel. Uh huh. Okay. What about you, Oscar? Um, in my opinion, the biggest gadget is more, more funny in TV. Okay, and what about you, Amanda? In my opinion, the bigger the biggest gadget is television because all the time I I use the television for the study English, and that's okay. it. Okay, and what about you, Roxana? Um, in my, bueno, for me, the biggest gadget is television too, because my baby see a lot of videos. Watches. Yes, my baby watches a lot of videos. A lot of videos. All right. Okay. What about the Mac? Ah, the most useful gadget. Which is the most useful gadget? El más útil. Which is the most useful? My cell phone. <laughs> the most useful gadget for me is my cell phone. All right. What about for you, Daniel? Uh, yes, I think then is is a cell phone. Yes, I think everybody, everybody, everybody yeah. has a cell phone, as as Daniel said, right? Yeah, no, yeah. no everybody, even children have a cell phone. Yes. <laughs> All right. Hi, Kevin. Are you here, Kevin? I uh, think no teacher right no, now. No, and right now his his camera is like I don't know. It's weird. Oscar, what about for you? Which is the most useful gadget? The most useful gadget is a cell phone. Okay, very good. Kevin is there. Kevin. Yes. I think he's having problems with the computer. Uh huh. Okay, what about the next one? The newest gadget. Which is the newest? Could could be a a new a new PS five uh, ah, or yes, a, yes. a smartwatch uh -huh. is 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 a trending right now. Yeah, and they are very expensive. How much are they? Like two hundred. Uh, it depends. Yeah, yeah, could be. Yeah, yeah. The PS five is like right now a lot of a lot of kids and teenagers would like the PS five because it is yeah teenagers for for teenagers is is the best right now. Uh -huh. My son, my son has a PS four because oh. I'll tell you, uh, my son has a PS four because my my nephews in the United States bought the PS five, <laughs> so they were not going to use the PS four and they sent the PS four to my son. <laughs> but for my you son, have, the, uh -huh. you have to you have to buy a P, PS5. 
No, my son is very happy with the PS4 uh, because he is a kid. He is 11 years old. But by oh. now, are 20 and 16. So they are like, I, I want the newest uh, PS4, PS5. Uh -huh. Yeah. He, they, he will want that. In the future. In, in the future, yeah. Yes. So I will tell his nephews, okay, buy the PS6 and send me the PS5. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. All right, very good. The next one, which is the cheapest gadget? The cheapest. The cheapest, the cheapest is cheapest. el. Ay. It's, it's the el más más barato. Ajá, yeah. el más barato in Spanish. Ajá. Uh -huh. Give me a second because uh, ah, time is over. Hey, did you finish? No. No. Yes. No. In in Kevin's group, there was a technical problem. <laughs> yes, teacher, uh, huh? was uh, my internet. <laughs> so no. I, you need, your internet uh, was was low, uh, but now everything teacher, is okay. How how do you say how do you say que hubo un apagón? Oh, there was a blackout. Blackout. There was a blackout. Uh, yes. Blackout. Uh huh. Very good. Internet doesn't work. Uh, internet didn't work, but now it does. Now, yeah. Okay, yeah. so, okay. Yeah. Uh, five extra minutes? Is that okay? Teacher, teacher, yes. Yes. how do you say no duradero? Oh, not long lasting. It is not long lasting. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to type it. Yeah, no dura. It is not, or it's not, it's not long lasting uh-huh it's not long lasting yep it's not long lasting it's not long lasting hmm? got it wilbur all right five extra minutes if you pay attention i want you to pay attention on the blue cards they are using superlatives the most expensive the, the cheapest all right we're gonna study that uh, this module Okay, so you are going to have uh, uh, some idea. Okay, let's see. Five extra minutes. Five, five.
Did you finish? Sorry, I have my, my microphone muted. Did you finish? Yes. yes, we very good. Easy or difficult? So so <laughs> okay. Easy. Good. Easy. All right. Now uh I'm gonna I'm gonna um, ask you a question. I'm gonna ask you a question. Do you like watching movies? Yes, yes, teacher. yes, yes teacher. I love it. Uh, yeah. I love it. Okay, so yeah, what like are it. what are your favorite movies? Romantic, movie. romantic. Or, or romantic. Romantic. Depends on the actor and actress. Horror. It depends movie. on the. It depends on the actor or actress. Ah, uh, what else? I'm already like uh, the Adam Sanders movie. Adam Sanders <laughs> movies. All right. Yes, they are very nice. Okay. Well, uh, actually, on the platform we have a little a little exercise with related to movies. Okay. Um. Well, one of the one of the most um important gadgets that could uh, be invented was the the movie theater. I mean, projecting movies at a movie theater. Okay. Now I'm gonna show you some movies, and what I want you to do is I want you to select the the genre. Genre is género, movie genre. When you say movie genre, is género de película, right? Movie genre. So let me see. Um, género de película. Okay, very good. Now, for example, this one, Indiana Jones, which is the movie genre? It's uh, uh, adventure. Adventure. adventure film. Ah, so tell me the complete sentence. Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones is an adventure film. An adventure film, film. yes. An, an adventure film, because you have adventure, this is a vowel, right? This one would be, would be a love story, a horror film, a musical, a spy um, story, a thriller, an adventure film, an. Yes, what about the next one? Which, what type of movie is this? Action. An action. An action film. Which which movie is this? Which movie is this? Wolverine. Wolverine. Uh huh. Specifically Wolverine. Yes. All right. An action film. Okay. What about the next one? Which is which is a love story here? It is a horror film. A love story is a romantic, romantic, romantic comedy. comedy. Love story is a romantic, romantic a romantic comedy. comedy. All right. Do you know all the movies that are here? Let me see if you know. Do you know this movie? This one. No. This one. Yes. Yes. It is. Letter A. The mom. Ten things. Um. Ten things about you. No, <laughs> ten things para perder a, a, a un novio, algo así. Oh, I ten, don't remember. Days, ten days to lose a boyfriend. Uh, yes, 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 ten days to lose a... A boyfriend. Uh -huh, algo así. Uh -huh. Okay, very good, all right. Okay, what about the next one? People laugh a lot watching this film. Mm. Comedy. 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 Uh -huh. A comedy, all right. Very good. What about the next one? A film such as Dragon Ball. What is it? It is a cartoon. It is a cartoon, cartoon. A cartoon uh, movie. Cartoon. All right. Uh, what kind of film is Annabelle? <laughs> it, is it is a horror film. All right. Listen to the horror. pronunciation. Horror. 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 It is a oh. horror film, okay? What about Harry Potter? It is, it is, a, a, it is a fantasy, fantasy film. film. It is a fantasy film. It is a fantasy film. All right, very good. It is a fantasy film. What about a film with people dancing and singing? It is a musical. All right. What about Johnny Depp? Was the protagonist of which movie from these movies that are here? 
Pirate of the Pirates of the Caribbean. Everybody was inventing the pronunciation, right? <laughs> yeah. Don't be pirates of the what is that? Like pirates of the Caribbean. Oh my god, what a shame. <laughs> All right, what about the next one? I know. A, a fantasy film is hilarious, mm. brilliant. Yeah. I feel here we're missing brilliant, and I we are missing it's brilliant, brilliant, um, bio, violent, amazing, and dynamic, amazing, 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 mysterious. All right, uh, films such as E.T. is a Science, science fiction, fiction film. 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 Uh, in English, in English, the, the, the short form is sci-fi. Sci-fi. Uh huh. Sci-fi. Oh, apocalypse! Apocalypse now is a war. 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 It is a war film. War. A war film. Yes, a war <laughs> film. Okay, everybody, teacher. But what is what's the correct what's the correct way? A film or movie? Okay, movie is American English and um film is British English. Okay. Now here on the platform we have this mini exercise. So March of the Penguins, which is the correct um genre? Documentary. 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 Yes, documentary. All right. Very good. What about the next one? Uh, what about Fast and Furious? It is an action film. All right. What about um Hangover? It's a, a comedy, 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 comedy film. film. It is a comedy film or a comedy movie. No, no problem. Uh, what about uh, the Lord of the Rings? It is a fantasy film. Okay. What about uh, the Nun? Horror. 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 horror you don't say horror no horror with he horror. horror okay what about uh this one is um a serial film mm -hmm. uh, but i don't know i don't know wow well actually they are they are different movies uh-huh this one yeah. is a pride and prejudice this one Mary is uh, Poppy. Mary Poppy. 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 here uh, we have, let me see, this one is uh, the one from Freddie Mercury. Freddy Mercury. And this is a period film, okay? Yes. We are the champions, my friend. Yeah. All right, what about, what about this one? <laughs> <laughs> it romantic is a um, romantic film. A romantic. romantic film, all right? Titanic and blah, blah, blah. All right, very good. <laughs> I don't like romantic films. What about this one? <laughs> um, it is a sci-fi film. It's a sci-fi film. All right. Well, actually, we we have three. They are they are sci-fi films. What about these ones? They are thrill films. Actually, actually, it's not thrill. Actually, it's not thrill. It is you. Well, actually, yeah, you can say thrill films. That's one way to say it. We can say thrill films, thrill films, or we can say thrillers. Thrillers. Thrillers, like this, uh huh. Thrill films or thrillers, yeah? Not to in, say film. Teacher. Yeah? In Spanish, it's uh, como suspenso. Uh huh. Suspe como suspenso, uh -huh. thrillers, yeah, because if you say horror, that's a different thing. That is with demons and spirits and all that stuff with the unnatural. Mm -hmm. With the unnatural world, but this one's no. It's more like suspense, like uh, yeah. So the thrillers, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. You're welcome. Yay! All right, you will see this on on your on your screen. 
Okay, let me see. I'm gonna give you right some some. I would like you to discuss about your your favorite. I think you have favorite movies. Yes or no? Yes. 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 All right. I'm gonna give you some questions, but these questions have new vocabulary. So what I want you to do is, if you see something new, if you see a new word, um, let me see. Uh, no, the question that I want, okay. Pay attention to this one. Can you think of a film you didn't like, but which got rave reviews? You understand the meaning of rave reviews? No. So you will go and you will investigate. All right, go ahead. What's the meaning of rave reviews? Look it up on the on the dictionary, please. Critica favorable. Ah, okay, very good. So can you think of a film you didn't like, but which got rave reviews? Ah, uh, let me see. Well, I remember, teacher, a film I didn't like was Titanic, but the movie got rave reviews because, yeah, that's what I want you to do. I want you to speak. Para los estudiantes nuevos, yo siempre les he dicho a mis estudiantes eh, viejos, <laughs> right? Um, sí, soy. De la, sí, soy. De la misma pregunta, puede usted formular la respuesta. ¿Se fijaron? La respuesta que yo les dije de la misma pregunta. Las mismas palabras. Can you think of a film you didn't like? Well, actually, I think a, a film I didn't like, teacher, was Titanic. Uh, but the movie got rave reviews because people liked the movie. We're gonna, we're gonna, if you see a question with past, your, your answer has to be in past, liked, got, okay? Got it? You will got find it. a lot of new words. We'll I find a lot of new teacher. words. You, <laughs> yeah, I, I know that it's, it's not, it's, it is not easy, but I would like, I, I want to challenge you. Yeah, you have to speak more. You have to speak more. You have to speak more. And you have to speak with, um, how can I say, with, with new vocabulary. Okay, so I'm gonna send the, the, the link, okay? If you if you don't understand a word, look it up on your dictionary, okay? All right, so let's go. I'm gonna give you some, some minutes so you can discuss about this. Remember, go to Google and search. All right, let's see. I, I don't remember other movie, but uh, I I remember uh, many scenes 
but yes. the name of the movie, no. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> exactly. And your case, Raul? Yes, Raul. Um, yes, I remember uh, the one movie, uh, one movie, uh, Plot Twice. The movie is, uh, the name movie is Per Harbor. Yes, I, I. Do you do you understand? Sorry, do you understand the the meaning of? Do you remember a movie plot twist that you never saw coming? Also that means, know me. that means uh, you were watching the movie and at the end you were like, oh, oh my God, I didn't expect that ending. For me, a, a movie that is called uh, The Others, Los Otros, with Nicole Kidman. Uh, also, El Sexto Sentido, The Sixth Tenth. Uh-huh. Teacher, uh, um, what is the, yeah, I remember one movie, uh, the, the plot twice, uh, the movie is, uh, Skier, Skier 6. Mm, okay. All right. Okay. I don't remember that movie, but I, re I, I have heard the name. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, continue. Go ahead. Okay, the next. Um, what was the last remake or a sequel you saw? Let me found the, the word. That, that's the last remake. First, Do you know the meaning or of remake and sequel? Uh, sequel, sequela. Sequela, I think. <laughs> remake. I don't know if we make. Remake is a. Uh, mm, I will buscar ahorita. I found it. Es, es como que hayan vuelto a hacer la película. I, I, I don't. What do you think, Jose Raúl? My opinion, the the movie where where I born is uh the last of Fast and Furious. Is 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 so much, is so much. My opinion. And for you, Claudia. I'm thinking, mm, I don't know. Patricia Samuel? I don't know. I don't watch movies. Me too, but maybe, man, I don't know, Elementos. I bought it out. We, the, yeah, we. Mm -hmm. there, there is a movie, The Gladiator. I like the movie, but... I only I can only uh, saw uh, watch watch the movie once, but I I bored I don't know but I I know it's a good movie, but I I bored. The 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 problem is the movie is a slow reading reading. Oh. I don't. Know. 
maybe is the 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 story um the history the history the history movies hmm? what the history movies is boring when really? you when you watch the movie one time uh, i think you like the movie but i can <laughs> i can watch the movie again uh, i don't know i i bored okay the next what is more important for a kid to be successful as strong as or as you think that uh, grip, uh, grip, gripping grip, plot. Gripping plot. Mm -hmm. Gripping plot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know what is gripping plot. Give me a moment. I will gripping plot. Maybe plot is hero. Ah, es trama. Y gripping es apasionante. Eso sería un, un, un apasionante, un trama, una trama apasionante o un poderoso cast. Mm. I don't know. What is more important? Quiero decir como que tenga. <clears throat> no Spanish. <laughs> Sorry. Exit. I don't know. I... And a good camera, maybe, because you need a, a good film. And. Uh, I think maybe a good act actor and actress and just that I don't like it the movies for my opinion booth is uh, more important because uh, a great uh, a strong cast but she is a bored Bored grip, gripping plot is a bad, bad movie, but we continue to ask sure. you some questions with vocabulary. Oh. I'm gonna take the picture, okay? Picture. Give me a second, guys. Yes, the picture. Uh, give me a moment, please. Mm -mm. No, no, no. No, no, no. I have... Okay. Because I have like four emails open here. So let me see. He said, Larry. Uh, there is a microphone. I don't know if somebody has the microphone on, but maybe turn it off, please. Because mm -hmm. I can listen to oh, the fan. <laughs> it is a little uncomfortable. All right, let me see. 71, yes. 71, 71. Mm. Yes, very good. Okay, so I got the, I got the, 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 the here. Okay, sorry guys, because I have to label it. I have to. Yeah, moment. Well, today is. Class number two, today is October 5th, okay, and all right, I'm going to take the picture. Wow, all the cameras, Patricia Sometta, your camera, please. Excellent, okay, one, two, three. <laughs> all right, my computer is slow today, I don't know what happens. It is slow. 
Okay, the next picture. Nice, nice. All cameras are on. Okay, next picture. One, two, and uh, nice, Daniel. Thank you. Erika Martinez, your camera, please. Excellent. Thank you, Erika. One, two, three. Excellent. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, everybody. Thanks a lot. Okay, I have some questions for you with the new vocabulary. I have some questions for you. Y relacionadas a estas preguntas va a ser su primera tarea. Homework number one. Okay, very good. So, let me see. I will move it, move it, move it. All right. Can you see the screen, guys? Yeah? Yeah, that's yes. Yes. All right, very yes, good. I can see. All right, very good. Now, let me see. Well, what is more important for a film to be successful? A strong cast or a gripping plot? What's the meaning of a strong cast? Reparto. Poderoso reparto. Oh, yeah, it would be like poderoso reparto, un reparto poderoso, but the meaning of this is a strong cast has excellent actors. Actors, for example, winning Oscars or something like that. And what is the meaning of a gripping plot? Trama. Una trama, trama a what? Ah, ok, very good, very good. Pero plot solo es trama, pero ¿qué es gripping plot? Una trama apasionante. Ajá, uh -huh, very good, excellent. excellent. Ok, what about the next question? Which movie, with what movie were you bored out of your mind? That means a boring movie, ok? Uh, can you think a film you didn't like? Rave reviews, you told me, right? Um... What's the meaning of this? Name a horror movie which scared you out of your grit. Wait. La maldición. All right, very good. So it scared you out of your wits. Okay, very good. Yes. Yeah. Hey, what's the meaning of it scared you out of your wits? Te asustó muchísimo. Uh -huh. All right, very good. What about the next one? Can you mention a nail biting movie? What's the meaning of nail biting? Uh -huh, yeah, it's like, oh my God, a nail biting movie, right? Very good, yes. Uh, do you prefer foreign films to be dubbed or subtitled? What's the meaning of dubbed? Doblado. Doblado al lenguaje de uno, right? Dubbed or subtitled? So can you name a film which has been recently released? What the oh yeah, th this is very easy. What was the last remake or sequel? What's the meaning of remake? Remake. Yeah. Remake, is, remake is remake. Uh-huh. Yes, they remake. Is the movie yes. again. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, the next one is do you remember a movie plot twist that you never saw coming? That you were watching a movie and then the story had a twist <laughs> and you are like you were like oh what i didn't expect that all right very good and mm -hmm. can you a well-developed character in an argentinian movie argentinian not necessarily argentinian you can think about another nationality salvadorian american etc now listen your homework number one for tomorrow is you have to select one of these questions Okay, and you have to answer the question in 30 seconds. Escucha el tiempo que le voy a dar porque voy a estar con cronómetro en mano. Okay, very good. No es solo, ah, yes, eh, a movie uh, that, um, a movie that I liked was this. No, I need an, okay, so choose homework number one. Homework one, va a ser oral, lo voy a evaluar acá. Homework number one. Okay, choose one question and answer the question in 30 seconds. I will be with the chronometer in my hand. I will be with the chronometer in my hand. If you speak less than, than 30 seconds, eh, voy a empezar a, a evaluar a partir del 9, from 9 down. Okay, if you have 30 seconds and your answer was okay, you had a few mistakes, but your answer was okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a 10, all right? Of course. Yes. Okay, you got it? Got yes. it? Okay, yes. so uh, make sure you can send the, the, the link from the questions to the group 
para los alumnos nuevos, eh, las tareas las evalúan en la clase. ¿Okay? Pues ahí se van a fijar ustedes mañana. La cosa es que escojan una pregunta, right? Choose a question. Puede ser, por ejemplo, eh, this question, or can be... Or it can be this question, or it can be this question, this question. You will choose one question, one. And you will answer the question in 30 seconds. You have to elaborate, you have to speak. You got it? For that reason, I want you to prepare your answer. I don't want you to come here and invent because if you do it, you're going to make more mistakes. So try to prepare your answer, read your answer. Oh, let's see, this is good, this is not good. Yeah. Aquí lleva ese, aquí se la quito. I mean, if you prepare your answer, it's going to be easier for you. You got it? Teacher. Yeah? Yes. Not really. Excuse me? Not really. Eh, it, will be, it will be the best. I mean, it will be the best for uh, you not to read. But if you prepare your question, you try to repeat your answer, uh, you say it in the most natural way. Yeah, Mario. Okay, Sorry? Teacher. Hey, for tomorrow, teacher. For tomorrow. For mm -hmm. tomorrow. I need this homework for tomorrow, okay? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> nice question, Claudia Ruth. Now, uh, everybody, I'm going to I'm going to introduce the topic today, and we're going to see some comparatives and superlatives. Last module, we were talking about comparatives, but this time you will see also superlatives, okay? This is the introduction to the topic because we almost finished the class, okay? Uh, let me see. Can you, can you listen? Yes? Yeah. Take notes, guys, take notes. This video is on your platform. This video is on your platform, okay? But um, if you have any questions from the video, you can ask me right now. The video is, let's see. Uh, yes, the video is almost seven, almost eight minutes. So we're going to have some time to watch, take notes. And if you have any questions, you can ask me. Do you remember comparative adjectives? We use comparative adjectives when we compare two objects. For example, this shirt is darker than the other shirt. We use this structure, verb to be plus the adjective in the comparative form plus then is darker than. Now, when we make an adjective, when we change it into comparative form, we have to follow different rules. Remember, you can add the R or you have to make some changes or you use the word for. But today, let's learn about superlatives. When do we use superlatives? We use superlative adjectives when we want to compare one object to more than one object. Let me show you some examples. Here you have two balls. In this comparison, you will use a comparative adjective. Ball number one is more colorful than ball number two. Remember, comparative adjectives only two objects. Now, here you have more than two balls. Let's see a sentence with a superlative adjective. Ball number two is the most colorful of the group. Did you hear that? The most colorful. With superlatives, we don't use ER or we don't use more. Let's see what do we add to the adjective when we are comparing more than one object. So, 
superlative adjectives. Look at this chart. Rule number one. To one syllable adjectives, you add EST to the adjective. So, you have the adjective old. In the comparative form is older. But in the superlative form is the oldest. Now, important thing, in superlative adjectives, we use the article the before the adjective. The oldest, not only oldest. Let's see another example. Big, comparative, bigger, superlative, biggest. Okay, very good. 
Now, if you pay the attention, everybody, when we talk about Okay, for example, we compare. Second. She was comparing two balls. Let's see. Remember, everybody, that the that the rules or the structure for comparative is verb to be, comparative adjective, and then. Now, she was comparing two balls. Ball number one is more colorful than ball number two. I told you last module that when we compare, we always have two. When we compare, for example, my blue pencil is cheaper than the green pencil, or the blue pencil is longer than the green pencil, all right? Always two. Two, 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 two. But when we have superlatives, we need to have a group. Yes? For example, oh, we sorry. For example, here, I don't have one pencil, I have four. So I know, let me see this, this blur. So for example, I don't have one pencil, I have four pencils. Now uh, I want you to pay attention. Look at the look at the pencils and tell me which one is the shortest. The pink one, the blue one, the green one, or the white one. Which which one is the short? The white the, one. The, the white one. one. The white one. Very good. Excellent. Which one is the longest? The longest. The, the blue one. Blue one. Yeah, one. One. All right, so if you pay attention, for using superlatives, we need a group. For using superlatives, we need a group. Is it clear? Yes. yes. Yeah? yes. But for comparatives, no. I mean, yes, I can compare here, but maybe this one with this one, maybe this one with this one, maybe this one with this one. For comparing, you need two. For superlatives, you need a group. For example, mm -hmm. from this group, from this group, from this class, who is the most talkative? Eric. Eric, Eric. is the most talkative in the group. Excellent, Rosamanda. Excellent, Amanda. Eric is the most talkative of the group. Who is, let me see, hey, who is the tallest? Who do you think is the tallest? I think tallest. the the what, what? tallest the tallest who is the tallest? We don't yeah. know, teacher. <laughs> no, no. But we for know. my opinion, the tallest is Wilbert. In Wilbert. my opinion, oh, Wilbert, uh, what's your what's your height? Uno, uno con ochenta y cinco. why are you speaking in Spanish? I'm oh, sorry. One point eh, eighty-five. One eighty-five. One eighty-five. Uh-huh. Somebody else here who is more than one eighty-five? No. No. One. No. For me, Wilbert is the tallest. Yes. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know why, but but yeah, he is the tallest. He is the tallest. 185 imagine almost 190 oh he's he is tall so he is the tallest of the group and who do you think is the shortest who is the shortest i remember um i mean it's uh let me see who is the short i think for me claudia ruth is the shortest no, for for me, I think it's uh, Esther Beatrice. Esther, no, but the but the shortest, the shortest, la más joven, la más pequeña, the shortest in in yeah. estatura. Who is the yeah. shortest? Opinion, in my opinion, is um. Where, 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 I don't know. Uh, Claudia Ruth, what's your name? It's Gabriela. Hey, for you, Heidi is the shortest. Uh, Ruth, what's your yes, height? Heidi. What's mm -hmm. your height? One, one meter and 59 uh, centimeters. 
Yes. You can say you can say Claudia 159. Uh-huh. 159. And you mm -hmm. Heidi? Uh, 162. Uh-huh. Heidi is not short. No. 40. And what about you? Uh well, Claudia Ruth is 159. Gabriela, Gabriela. Who is Gabriela? Gabriela. Who is Gabriela? Me. Gabriela Solorzano. What about you, yeah. Gabriela? 158. Ay, 158, one centimeter. All right. And what about you? No, Alejandra Dale. Cecilia doesn't look short. Uh, Jenny's look tall, the tallest. Jenny's. Jenny's. No, but Jenny. Jenny's, the, what's your height? The tallest. 159. 159. 159. Uh, 159. No, she's short. She's short. And you, Catherine Joanna? 116, 60. 160. No, so I think Gabriela Solorzano is the shortest because Esther is not here for asking her. <laughs> oh. Okay, well, everybody, and you, Erica? Uh, 145. 145. 145. Oh, my God. So, are you, are you sure, Erica? <laughs> and you, teacher? I am 169, I think. 169 or 168. And Nancy? Mm -hmm. Nancy looks taller, too. Uh -huh. yes. He's tall, tall. Nancy looks tall. Uh -huh. tall. Mm -hmm. I am 173. Oh, my God. She's tall. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we have to go. Yes, Christian, we have to go. Okay, <laughs> get ready. Get ready with the question. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. <laughs> bye, teacher. Bye, see you. Bye-bye.